Hi, this is Joan, and today I would like to speak about the capacity of the human being to live the moment, to live uh, here and now. Probably we have uh, read the book The Power of Now, or we know about mindfulness that stresses a lot about uh, to be present, to be alert in everything we do. These are very popular and trendy concepts that all of us probably, probably know today, but it's also an ancient and old concept that already was mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, for example, in a very uh, old scripture from India, and which was the, the concept that was used in these ancient Sanskrit scriptures. It's the concept of Radha. Radha is exactly the faculty to be here and now. And it is the first step for self-realization, for self-transformation. So sometimes we think about many things to do, to connect, to meditate. And the first step is Radha, to be here and now. Usually, the mind has the habit of wandering to move with no direction and it doesn't let us to do what we have to do or to experience what we are doing. Maybe we buy delicious food, but we talk while eating and we doesn't experience that food. We intake without really tasting. Many times we look but we do not see. We hear what, but we do not listen to the sound. So the result is the absence of experience due to a lack of consciousness. Then what can we do? Mind needs training to be here and now, to experience every act, little acts, big acts that we do every day, to experience them, to be consciously present in everything we do. We can practice in our everyday acts. We can be full of intent when we wake up and we touch the floor with our feet we can be full of intent when we brush our teeth in the morning. When we have a shower, don't be in a rush. We can feel the water. We can be present when we select our clothes, enjoy our breakfast. This is how we need to train our mind to be here and now. Like that, our perception improves and we also develop intuition. As I said, it is not a new concept. The concept of Radha is uh, an old one. And it was mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita when Krishna says Radhavan Lavate Ishnanam, which means knowledge is gained by those with alert minds. So what here we, we learn is that we have to do things with an alert mind and to do what we have to do at every moment and if possible to like what to do not just to do what we like, but to know what we have to do in every moment and try to develop a liking for that will help us to keep conscious, to keep alert and don't think in the next what I have to do or in something that was in the past. Continuing with the Bhagavad Gita, this attribute of Shraddha is the main virtue of Arjuna. 
Arjuna, the disciple or initiate in Bhagavad Gita, who learns from Krishna, he was able to focus to such an extent that with his bow he could release his arrow and hit just the precise goal that he aimed. Then Radha is essential for self-transformation, for self-realization, and to practice it we need obviously patience, but the only secret is practicing, practicing and practicing. I mentioned a way to practice it in our everyday life, but we also can include some exercises, concentration exercise, mindfulness exercises, breathing exercises that can help us to develop this capacity of errada, this capacity to be here and now. In further videos we can speak about of some of these exercises, but I think that today is better to think about the idea of being present in all what we do, being conscious and alert in every little act, in every big act. That is rather, and that is uh, what I wanted to, to share with you. If you have any comment, please you can leave them in the video and we keep in contact. Thank you very much.